which is declaration of interest. Bill, you've got two to declare, haven't you? consultation in identified areas. And I think anybody who was here at the cabinet for anything with uh, Brian Kenny has just mentioned most of the things I was going to say in it. Um, but we are also going to clean up unmanned land. Okay. Um, tidying it up, um, planting and cleansing, explore ownership and the responsibility. Um, the tender will include must be a third sector organisation, uh, including working and voluntary opportunities, and it will be their head based. Okay. Sure. So, again, are we, are we, are we going to discuss these issues? Yes. Uh, 
Can, can I just, uh, I mean, I, I don't want to sound like I'm only uh, mini about this, because I think it's a, it's a positive um, development, but it, in common with other things that we've discussed here, Thank you, Chair. Well, I mean, as Councillor Kelly knows, because of the government cuts imposed on middle council, we've had to make some very, very difficult decisions over the last couple of years. And obviously, the finances is very much a part of our negotiations with BIPA. And you mentioned about what, what's on the website. The arrangement we've got with BIPA does not give a guarantee that rubbish will be removed within five days. It's only a big But where we do, where we do have exceptional uh, problems, we have been able to get rubbish removed sometimes within 24 hours, although it's not a guarantee. So it depends on the seriousness of the actual situation. But I wouldn't want anybody to think that any time rubbish is dumped, that there will be a guarantee that it will be instantly removed. But that is the intention where we do get complaints. And in practice, I think that's been working well. But I go back to my first point. We've had to make some very difficult decisions because of the finances. And we haven't been able to negotiate the agreement with BIPA. <coughs> all rubbish will be removed as soon as it's proposed. 
the outcomes being achieved, but what are people on the ground saying about these services and how we can how they're working, and that ties in nicely with this breastfeeding. We're also going to do a lot of consultant uh, consultation with people around it and the devices to go to across I mean, health visitors and find out what are all the barriers, why aren't people doing it, and, and get that qualitative information to support with it. Second, so what we're trying to do is, in all these contracts, we start on the midwifery service. What have we actually bought? Then actually to ask whether in fact that's been delivered, but then ask the customer whether in fact that's what you've got. And then actually to feed that back in. But I think there's a real, to Maura's point, it's a very real one about the collapse of this, maybe another area, but this service, I can't believe most mothers to get people to use it, but also getting some of that 
politics and research from, from the residents. Alongside this, um, because people are quite keen on it, we've had a resource offered from a local organisation to have a community connector one day a week designated to Birkenhead for five months to, to support with this work. And around the promotional material, we're looking at tying it in with other things. So, for example, um, I've met with trade at the top end of Range Road. As you know, we have a problem with empty shops and how we can utilise them alongside this, whether that's advertising along with the shops in Range Road working on that top end. So that's what it's, it's to look at doing. And it'll be monitored through how many people use the website, and the queries that come in, and where that signposting activity leads to. Great. The second item on this councillor Doherty talked to last time um, was around the local publication. So we've done some further thinking around this and, and just to clarify what this will be, it will be a community focused publication and um, supporting people with what's on in the community. The, the data shows and the feedback that a lot of members get, not all our residents get the local newspaper currently. Um, it will be a focus on working with other public sector organisations as we've got a group together called of the Birkenhead Public Services. What I've asked from them is what they currently do around their communications, what's spent, what tools they use, and we're collating that together to look at across us all, what, what are we using, what are we spending, what are we doing, and is there any way we can, we can pull that together. What we're asking from the committee is a pilot of three editions to see, see the works. And to monitor that pilot, there'll be two, two subgroups. And one will look at the, will be an editorial board that'll ensure the content is non-political and it's what people want to read on the, on the feedback we're getting. It'll aim to recruit an apprentice for nine to 12 months and involve the, the community around the kind of community news and how that's developed. So talk as people are, people are hearing through this, there's been really positive feedback from, from, some, from a lot of people saying, We've had, for example, a few of us have been today at a conference around food plants and how people are uh, struggling accessing food and what there's massive support out there for people saying, I, I don't know where it is, um, around initiatives such as somebody wrote to Councillor Kenny saying that you've got an initiative around supporting to access free bikes and that sort of information to go in there. Any questions? Any questions on that?